Symptoms of exposure to listeria can begin once or four weeks after eating the contaminated food. However, it can be reported as late as 70 days. This is due to the incubation periods of listeriosis. For non-invasive listeriosis, the incubation period can last for up to a few days. It is much more difficult to pinpoint the day of infection for the invasive form because the incubation period lasts approximately one to two weeks, but it can prolong up to 90 days. As stated before, Listeria monocytogenes is a causative agent for the bacterial disease Listeriosis. The organism's multifactorial virulence system, Listeriolysin O, plays a crucial role in the ability for it to attach and multiply with host phagocytic cells and cause it to spread from cell to cell. What are some precautions? The precautions necessary to prevent Listeriosis are very similar to those to prevent other foodborne illnesses. Some include safe food handling, such as separating raw and cooked foods, thoroughly cooking food, keeping food at safe temperatures, and using safe water and other raw materials. Overall, Listeria monocytogenes present in food are killed through cooking and pasteurization, which is a process where foods are treated with mild heat in order to eliminate pathogens and extend shelf life. Now, somebody might be wondering, is this really happening? The answer is yes. There have been two recent outbreaks of listeriosis, one in October and another in November of 2018. In the first case from October, there were reported four cases of listeriosis across two states. All four cases were hospitalized and there was one fatality. The last outbreak that occurred in November also had four infected cases. Fortunately, there were no deaths. With both of these outbreaks, there was a recall out for the contaminated foods, which included deli ham and other pork-related products. According to the CDC, an estimated 1,600 people become infected with listeriosis each year, and of those cases, about 260 people die from the disease. So how are people diagnosed? According to a study found in the National Institute of Health's Library of Medicine, diagnosis of listeria can only be made by culturing the organism from a sterile site such as blood, amniotic fluid, and spinal fluid. If diagnosed early, listeriosis can be treated with antibiotics such as penicillin, ampicillin, and amoxicillin. These antibiotics are used to treat the severest symptoms such as meningitis. With all the dangers associated with listeriosis, it is very important to take the proper precautions and prevention methods. We want you to remain unharmed by this disease.